Peptide, Wikipedia article audio. Peptides are short chains of amino acid monomers linked by peptide bonds. Peptide classes. Peptide synthesis. Peptides in molecular biology. Well-known peptide families. Antimicrobial peptides. Tachykinin peptides. Vasoactive intestinal peptides. Pancreatic polypeptide-related peptides. Opioid peptides. Calcitonin peptides. Other peptides. Notes on terminology. Doping in sports. The covalent chemical bonds are formed when the carboxyl group of one amino acid reacts with the amino group of another. The shortest peptides are dipeptides, consisting of two amino acids joined by a single peptide bond, followed by tripeptides, tetrapeptides, etc. A polypeptide is a long, continuous, and unbranched peptide chain. Hence, peptides fall under the broad chemical classes of biological oligomers and polymers, alongside nucleic acids, oligosaccharides, and polysaccharides, etc. Peptides are distinguished from proteins on the basis of size, and as an arbitrary benchmark can be understood to contain approximately 50 or fewer amino acids. Proteins consist of one or more polypeptides arranged in a biologically functional way, often bound to ligands such as coenzymes and cofactors, or to another protein or other macromolecule, or to complex macromolecular assemblies. Finally, while aspects of the lab techniques applied to peptides versus polypeptides and proteins differ, the size boundaries that distinguish peptides from polypeptides and proteins are not absolute. Long peptides such as amyloid beta have been referred to as proteins, and smaller proteins like insulin have been considered peptides. Amino acids that have been incorporated into peptides are termed residues due to the release of either a hydrogen ion from the amine end or a hydroxyl ion from the carboxyl end, or both, as a water molecule is released during formation of each amide bond. All peptides except cyclic peptides have an N-terminal and C-terminal residue at the end of the peptide. Peptides are divided into several classes, depending on how they are produced. However, these peptides frequently have post-translational modifications such as phosphorylation, hydroxylation, sulfonation, palmitoylation, glycosylation, and disulfide formation. In general, they are linear, although lariat structures have been observed. More exotic manipulations do occur, such as racemization of L-amino acids to D-amino acids in platypus venom. These complexes are often laid out in a similar fashion, and they can contain many different modules to perform a diverse set of chemical manipulations on the developing product. These peptides are often cyclic and can have highly complex cyclic structures, although linear nonribosomal peptides are also common. Since the system is closely related to the machinery for building fatty acids and polyketides, hybrid compounds are often found. The presence of oxazoles or thiazoles often indicates that the compound was synthesized in this fashion. Peptides received prominence in molecular biology for several reasons. The first is that peptides allow the creation of peptide antibodies in animals without the need of purifying the protein of interest. This involves synthesizing antigenic peptides of sections of the protein of interest. These will then be used to make antibodies in a rabbit or mouse against the protein. Another reason is that peptides have become instrumental in mass spectrometry, 
allowing the identification of proteins of interest based on peptide masses and sequence. Peptides have recently been used in the study of protein structure and function. For example, synthetic peptides can be used as probes to see where protein peptide interactions occur. See the page on protein tags. Inhibitory peptides are also used in clinical research to examine the effects of peptides on the inhibition of cancer proteins and other diseases. For example, one of the most promising application is through peptides that target LHRH. These particular peptides act as an agonist, meaning that they bind to a cell in a way that regulates LHRH receptors. The process of inhibiting the cell receptors suggests that peptides could be beneficial in treating prostate cancer. However, additional investigations and experiments are required before the cancer-fighting attributes, exhibited by peptides, can be considered definitive. The peptide families in this section are ribosomal peptides, usually with hormonal activity. All of these peptides are synthesized by cells as longer propeptides or proproteins and truncated prior to exiting the cell. They are released into the bloodstream where they perform their signaling functions. Length Number of amino acids Function The term peptide has been used to mean secretagogue peptides and peptide hormones in sports doping matters. Secretagogue peptides are classified as Schedule II prohibited substances on the World Anti Doping Agency prohibited list, and are therefore prohibited for use by professional athletes both in and out of competition. Such secretagogue peptides have been on the WADA prohibited substances list since at least 2008. The Australian Crime Commission cited the alleged misuse of secretagogue peptides in Australian sport including growth hormone releasing peptides CJC1295, GHRP6 and GHSR hexarelin. There is ongoing controversy on the legality of using secretagogue peptides in sports. A polypeptide is a single linear chain of many amino acids, held together by amide bonds. A protein consists of one or more polypeptides, an oligopeptide consists of only a few amino acids. A monopeptide has one amino acid. A dipeptide has two amino acids, a tripeptide has three amino acids, a tetrapeptide has four amino acids, a pentapeptide has five amino acids, a hexapeptide has six amino acids, a heptapeptide has seven amino acids, an octapeptide has eight amino acids, a nonapeptide has nine amino acids, a decapeptide has ten amino acids. An undecaptide has 11 amino acids, a dodecaptide has 12 amino acids, a tridecaptide has 13 amino acids, and so forth. An icosapeptide has 20 amino acids, a tricantapeptide has 30 amino acids, a tetracantapeptide has 40 amino acids, and so forth. A neuropeptide is a peptide that is active in association with neural tissue, a lipopeptide is a peptide that has a lipid connected to it, and pepticins are lipopeptides that interact with GPCRs, a peptide hormone is a peptide that acts as a hormone, a proteose is a mixture of peptides produced by the hydrolysis of proteins. The term is somewhat archaic. A peptidergic agent is a chemical which functions to directly modulate the peptide systems in the body or brain. An example is opioidergics, which are neuropeptidergics.